The electro clock is an alarm clock that can wake you up in a way that other alarm clocks can't. The clock comes as a kit and here is how you assemble it. Assembling the clock must be done in a certain order to obtain good and durable results. In this video we will show you the steps in the order that we think is easiest. There may be other ways, so if you want to take another route, feel free to do so. All the parts required to assemble the clock are included in the kit. We start by assembling the circuit board. As usual, the mounting order is based on component height. Start with soldering the lowest parts, the resistors and diode D1. Be careful with the polarity of the diode. Mount the two push buttons. Insert integrated circuit IC1. Before soldering it, make sure it points in the right direction. If you prefer, you can mount an IC socket in place of IC1, but it is not included in the kit. Next, mount the small capacitors and the 3mm LEDs. Make sure to put the LEDs in in the right way. The IR LED is intended to lie down on the board and now is a good time to solder it onto the board. Now mount IR receiver IC2 and transistor T1. Then solder electrolytic capacitor C5. Mount the six 20 pin sockets. Make sure to solder all their pins properly. Do not mount the two pin headers K1 and K2 as they are optional and you may not need them. If you mount them it will be difficult to press the push buttons. Solder the buzzer to the board. Choose the two pins that fit best and respect its polarity. Finally, solder the capacitors C1 and C4 and power connector K3. If you mounted a socket for IC1, then you should now insert the IC in its socket. Plug the 7 segment displays on their sockets. Plug the ESP32 Pico kit on the board with the USB connector pointing down. Check the orientation of all the components and check your soldering. Now you must program the ESP32 Pico kit module. For that you'll need the Arduino IDE to which you must add the ESP32 boards package. A detailed explanation of how to do this is available on the Electrolabs website. In this video we use version 2.0.10. You must also install the Arduino ESP32 file system uploader. Again refer to the ESP32 FAQ page on the Electrolabs website section SPIFS uploading sketch data. This will add the ESP32 sketch data upload entry to the IDE's tool menu. Connect the ESP32 Pico kit to your computer. In the IDE, select the ESP32 Pico kit board. Also select the corresponding COM port. Download the most recent clock software from its project page on Elector Labs. In this video we use version 2.0.3. Unpack the archive and copy it to the Arduino IDE sketchbook folder. Also download the libraries. Unpack the archive and copy its contents to the libraries folder inside the sketchbook folder. Launch the Arduino IDE and open the sketch. Then upload it to the ESP32 Pico kit. Next, use the ESP32 Sketch Data Upload option in the Tools menu to upload the web pages for the clock. After rebooting, wait until the message 192.168.4.1 appears on the clock's display. Now, using a phone, tablet or computer, connect to the newly created access point named ESP32 clock. 
When you are connected, go to the page HTTP 192.168.4.1. Make sure not to type HTTPS. Click on the settings link to open the settings page. Enter the SSID and password for your Wi-Fi network. Click the save button. This will store the network credentials and reboot the ESP32 Pico kit. It will now try to connect to your network. If it succeeds, it will display its new IP address. Navigate to this address and configure the clock using the web interface and set the alarms you want. Sleep well!